At Johnny Basher via Twitter wants to know, what would happen if the Earth stopped rotating for a second? Oh, yeah, that would be disastrous. Disastrous. Because right now, here in New York, you can calculate at our latitude, we are all moving with the Earth at 800 miles an hour due east. Because Earth is rotating. If you stopped Earth and you weren't seat belt buckled to the Earth, you would fall over and roll 800 miles an hour due east. It would kill everyone on Earth. People would be flying out of windows, and that would just be a bad day on Earth. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, now, if if you if somehow we all slowed down, so anything not bolted to the Earth would would fly due east 800 miles an hour. That's what happens to you in a car if you hit a brick wall and you're not wearing a seatbelt. You keep going. That's why you get hurt in those kinds of accidents. It's... But if somehow we all slowed down with the Earth, then. Okay, that's fine. I mean, people think, well, somehow we'll be weightless or we'll lose our atmosphere. No, it's just that you'll have really long days. At Ski Boot One asks, what's the thing that has surprised you most in the physics world? In the physics world, uh, I'm surprised, can I give a cop-out answer there? I'm surprised that the United States could lead the world in particle physics for most of the 20th century and then just abandon that leadership. And now the most powerful particle accelerator is in Europe at CERN, the, the Center for, oh, the European Center for Nuclear Research. But if you spell that in French, it spells CERN. They're ahead and, of us. And, and they, that it's that particle accelerator that found the God particle, the famous Higgs boson. And we're just looking over across the pond saying, oh, can we do, a, a few of our scientists are on the project, but we're not the leaders of it. So you ask what surprises me in physics? That we could, by vote of Congress, cede that leadership that quickly. And I'm, I'm astonished. I wonder, what country am I living in? It's not the one I grew up in. It's something different. I know it's a cop-out answer, but that's how oh, I feel. Uh, Danger Dave 723 tweets, what obstacles do we have to overcome in order to facilitate interplanetary travel? Oh, <laughs> okay. You know, Voyager just left the solar system. Uh, the Voyager spacecraft, it was in all the news a few weeks ago, traveling fast, all right? And it's at this boundary between the sun's influence and the galactic influence. And so you can say, well, if you, if you hitched a ride on that, how long would it take you? Because that's been going for 40 years. How long would it take you to get to the nearest star? The nearest star in a galaxy that has 100 million stars in it. Excuse me, 100 billion stars in it. The nearest star take you 40,000 years. So the question, what does it take to become interstellar space? We either have to figure out a way to live a really long time mm. or send a crew of astronauts that are really fertile so that <laughs> the 80th generation down the line is the one who lands at the destination. Or we have to find out something new about the fabric of space and time so that we can basically invoke the famous warp drive engines that are common in Star Trek, allowing them to cross the galaxy during the TV commercial. Jean LaCharon tweets, I love that. What can we expect the North and South Poles to shift? When can we expect them to shift? And what manifestations will we experience? They don't shift. They don't shift. <laughs> yeah, they, there was a lot of talk about pole shifting as we went into the year 2012, all well, the 2012 hysteria, which was basically a hoax on scientifically illiterate people of the world. And so uh, the pole, uh, Earth rotates, and the pole bobs up and down over tens of thousands of years, and we, and we oscillate like this the way a top does. When you see a top begin to slow down, nobody plays with tops anymore. I but, love tops. Well, well, you gotta love a top. I played with I them. I love them. You spin it, and then it, it, it begins to... Yeah, I love that. The, the official word is precess. We do that, and we do one full procession every 26,000 years. We don't flip.